Hello, this is David with davidmdie.com, joined by graphic recording artist Adam Royball, bringing you the next in our video series on organizational leadership and management. Today's title is Avoiding Waterfalls. Have you ever been a part of an organization or a team where everyone was constantly bickering, or where there was so much red tape and bureaucracy that every form had a form so you could request the next form? Or maybe just a team that was full of passion-lacking people, no energy. If any of those sound familiar, it's probably because the organization or team lacked a vital ingredient. The missing ingredient is a focus on results. When an organization lacks a clear focus on results, its attention easily becomes scattered on trivialities and turf wars and on passion-sucking processes that exist only because someone wanted a process, not because it accomplishes anything useful or meaningful. You know the kind. Those processes that really just suck the life right out of you. Effective leaders maintain a consistent focus on results. Those outcomes produce clarity, prevent organizational navel-gazing, that is, where everybody in the organization sits around and focuses on all of the internal processes, never thinking about what it's actually trying to accomplish. And focus on results helps energize individuals with a passion for the outcomes. So what are results? Management guru Peter Drucker he defined results as the things that take place outside of the organization. Everything inside the organization is just a process to help accomplish the results that are outside the organization. So let's take a look at a few examples. In a retail setting, the results of the business are customers purchasing products and experiencing the benefit of those products. Where in a school, the result of the school is children benefiting from their education not just from the process of being educated, but the benefit of that education. And for a police department, citizens experiencing safety and a decline in crime might be results, again, things that are outside of the organization. So each of those organizations has some internal things that they're doing, processes. And you want to weigh each of those processes against the outcomes and see how effectively each process, each thing you're doing, is actually contributing to results, to your outcomes. If it's not contributing, it's probably best to get rid of it. One of the best ways I know to illustrate this concept is with the idea of a waterfall. If you picture a boat full of people drifting toward the waterfall, they're not getting caught up in bickering and bureaucracy. No, they all grab an oar and they paddle as a team to accomplish their results and get to shore, stay alive. The lesson here for us as leaders is to make sure that everyone is clear about the results we're trying to accomplish as a team and to regularly Call us back to them. Thanks for watching. This is David from davidmdie.com, and as always, we ask that if this has been helpful, please consider sending it to someone else you think it might benefit. Have a great day.